Most of what Teddy teaches in 55 Alive concerns driving, but there is a limited amount of mechanical advice, mostly to do with getting your car properly serviced. But it gave me an idea. Think about it. 30 years from now, our own Bill Gardner, a senior himself, conducting an auto mechanics class. And you know what? I bet you'll still have his pickup truck parked out back. How about it, Bill? Well, Brad, excuse the pun, but you know I'm just a pup. I'm not quite ready to think about being a senior citizen yet, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Uh, anyhow, what I want to talk about this week is some advice for motorists, young or old, and that's about making a quick visual inspection of the cooling system hoses in your car, because sometimes there's obvious visual signs that there's a hose about to blow, and if you pick up on these, you might just save yourself being stranded on the side of the road. Now, I'm going to sit Alex down in the back of the pickup, and by the way, the pickup's running so good, I can, I can see it still being around in 30 years, and maybe I won't be. Anyhow, let's have a look under the hood of this car and show you what we're talking about. Now this particular car was in the shop last week with a stalling complaint and while we were in the process of checking that out and test running the engine, we noticed a couple of stains in critical areas. There was one on the inlet heater hose and another stain on the exhaust crossover pipe right below the upper rad hose. Closer inspection revealed that both those hoses had flaws. The heater hose had a little pore in it and a stain around that area and a real slow leak and the upper rad hose was split as a result of corrosion on the, on the nipple where that hose goes onto the engine. It had actually stretched the hose so tight in that one area that it had started to uh, cause the hose to fray and burst. Now by picking up on something like this early and changing these parts before they actually burst and fail, we've probably averted a pretty serious overheat on this engine and probably a, some kind of a roadside breakdown. Now heater hoses and uh, rad hoses on many of today's cars, in fact most of today's cars, are particular to the make, model, and year of that car. The days of just going to the local garage and getting a rad hose or a heater hose that'll fit your car are pretty much gone. You've almost got to go to the dealer or a parts depot and specify exactly the hose you need for the application. So if you happen to get broken down with a burst one on the road, your chances of finding the right one are not too good. So it's real important to check these things out and change them before they fail. That gives you the time to hunt down the correct part. Here at the shop, we've got the luxury of collecting that coolant into a pan while we change the offending hoses. But you're not always so lucky. If you get a coolant leak in your car, there's a real good chance you're going to notice a pool or puddle of coolant somewhere underneath that vehicle. It's a real hazard if you've got child, children or pets around because ethylene glycol, the coolant solution that's used in most, most cars today, is extremely toxic. You want to make sure that you absorb it or cover it and make sure that you pick it all up before your children or pets can get near it. They tend to be attracted to it and pets will take a lick of it and in many cases it can be their last one. So make sure that you take real care around that stuff and get it all picked up. Oh and one more good reason to uh, own a pickup truck, Brad, Alex's food dish, hubcap right off a Chevy pickup truck and her water dish, a GMC pickup truck hubcap. Till next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring. 98.